Hi there Year 9s, in this video we're looking at interpreting time series graphs. And so we have this uh, graph underneath um, to look at, and uh, let's just move that back um, here, and we've got some questions to answer over here. So um, let's just go with question um, 1 and we'll continue from here. Okay, so question 1 says what does this graph show? Well it shows um, nitrogen levels. Um, through time and uh, given the um, heading it's talking about pollution so the nitrogen dioxide levels obviously are talking about pollution so um, we'll just write that it is showing um, pollution um, measured by nitrogen dioxide on Piver Pass Road. Okay, uh, and for your information, Kyber Pass Road, I think, is in Wellington. Okay, the next question is asking, over what period of time have the measurements been taken? Uh, so that's simply asking from when to when. So it's from 3 a.m., and it would appear that um, it, that would be 6, and then that's 9, and then midday, 3, 6 p.m., 9, um, and then that would be um, midnight, and then here it finishes at 2 a.m. So, so we've got 21 hours from 3 a.m. to 2 a.m. the following day. So that's our answer for question 2. So over a 21-hour period. Okay, the next question is saying when are the two peaks? So there's a peak here and a peak here. That first peak, if we track down, appears to be maybe around 9am. And our other peak, if we track down, approximately 6pm. So our two peaks are at 9am and 6pm. The next part of the question is asking us to suggest a reason why this might be the case. Well, on a workday, that's when cars are driving the most, and so that's probably the peak traffic time. So those are peak traffic times. Okay, question four is saying, can you tell from the graph how often the measurements have been taken? And so because this graph is a little bit um, kind of um, pointy, we can um, see that like there was a measurement here and then another measurement here and another measurement here. So if we track that down, each one, it would appear that they're being taken about three times in, in one of those intervals. So probably approximately hourly. So we'll say the measurements are taken hourly, are taken hourly and it says um, explain um, and so we'll say the um, sharp points indicate where measurements have been taken so if it was smoother we would not be able to tell when the measurements were taken they might be taken every minute or something like that. But because the um, graph is sharp, it shows that we can see when they, they've been taken. Okay, the graph could be extended so it covered a 48 hour period. What would you look at, expect it to look like? Well, if the next day was also a work day, you'd probably expect it to follow that same pattern again, uh, roughly. So not exactly the same, but very similar because uh, work days tend to have similar kind of patterns to them. So we would expect the graph to repeat itself. Okay, finally the last question six, is there any information uh, missing from the graph? Well, I don't see any explanation down here about that being time from anything in particular. I also don't see any units for the nitrogen, nitrogen dioxide um, 
levels. So we're missing labels of axes and units. So we are missing labels and units. And that's it really. So um, exercise 31.06, we'll have some time series data for you to look at and uh, try and interpret it using a bit of common sense. And uh, you may need to write some sentences for this. Thank you.